Hello Virgo, welcome to your April 2021 reading and in this reading I'm going to be exploring your immediate past, your upcoming times and of course what's going on in the current phase and if you'd like to catch me for a free reading do uh, subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram the links to both these places are provided down below in the description box and Virgo, just as I begin your reading, my um, speech has begun to stammer. I kind of feel like you're having difficulty in expressing some things. Or some of you could be having throat-related issues. So let's go forward and see why and what is going on with the Virgos. Show me what's coming up for Virgos, please. What's com what is happening in the immediate past? So immediate past was released. Your present is Knight of Water. Your upcoming time is the Chariot. That's looking nice, Virgos. Let me go forward and use my new deck. I really love the way these cards give me messages. For Virgos, please. All right. So in your immediate past, you also get the four, there are too many, so I'm going to put them back. Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Show me more about their present. For Virgo's present, please. You have the Fool. You also have the card of the Star. And I'm feeling drawn to this card. There's the card of King of Wands. What a beautiful card this is. Alright. And in your upcoming time, we have the card of the Chariot, the Hierophant. There's the card of the Wheel. Three major Arcana cards already, Virgos. Let's see what's coming up in the month of April for you. Alright. Alright, and there's the Queen of Cups. Let me... Dive into your reading. Take me a moment, Virgos. Virgos, in your immediate past, you've just come out or you're still coming out as you watch this reading uh, from a phase of life or a situation um, that you previously felt held um, up in. And I also feel there is some kind of spiritual transformation coming into your life. It's already happening with you. You may... I'm sorry about the sounds in the background. There's nothing much I can do about it. But I feel like, Virgos, that um, you have decided that it's time to move on. And you are doing just that. Look at this. With the Four of Wands energy, you are going to enjoy this me time or this new time you're discovering about yourself. Some of you, Virgos, could be taking some time off from work and relaxing or spending some time in self-care. But you're doing um, something that makes you happy and you're joyfully moving out of a situation where you were previously stuck. And I also see this transformation, the spiritual transformation that has been coming upon you. This has been happening for a few weeks to a few months for some of you Virgos and you're beginning to notice this. I also see the cards of Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles energy, I kind of feel like you are accepting whatever transformation or whatever newness or change that is happening with you in your life here. And I also feel, Virgos, there's also the Six of Swords energy. But I, um, I definitely feel like you're accepting what is and you're choosing to move on from there with what you have. I don't know if you can see this card. It's at the bottom. I've placed it. So there's the Six of Wands energy. I'm going to keep it here so you can see. So I feel like whatever this is, you have allowed to let go of. You've come out of that energy. You've accepted life the way it is for you right now. And this creates a big powerful moment for you. There's also the sign of infinity here in the background. So accepting your new way in life or the new what life has to show you, what it has to offer you is bringing in a lot of movement in your life you're definitely asking yourself if where i have been in the past um how could i allow myself to be there for so long and now that i've chosen to move on from there 
um, I feel like there is no sense of stagnation anymore. So you're having all these thoughts inside your mind. And um, I definitely see that you're moving on. In your present situation, so whenever you're watching this reading, even if, in, if you're watching it in the month of April, this is where you're, you are at or you could be heading there. I feel like there is um, there's the Knight of Water energy. This is the Knight of Cups energy. There could be a water sign around you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, or you could be attending a marriage, a wedding, or you could be falling in love with somebody all over again. You could be falling in love with yourself also, Virgo. Yeah, because I see the card of the fool after that. And I kind of feel like this is you. You are falling in love with yourself. What it is you need to do. You're discovering your, um, the way you want to take your life. This is self-discovery, Virgo. So there's no um, hermit here in your reading. Yet I feel like you want to discover some things afresh. You want to discover emotions afresh. And uh, I also get that there is a strong water sign around you. I'm going to come to all the signs I'm seeing here. But I'm getting a very strong presence of a water sign around you, Virgos. And in your present moment, I also feel... With the card of the star, you are planning some things again or you're dreaming big. And you are either going to start working on something you have planned for yourself or you've been organizing those things in your thoughts for a while. You are going to start working on them and you're kind of uh, asking or praying in your heart to get guidance or some kind of help from the universe to make this wish of yours come true. Remember, we have the card of the star. That's also a wish card. So I, I feel like this is something you have been wanting to go towards for some time. And with the Knight of Wands energy, Virgos, I feel like you are making your move towards this. You are very spontaneous and more proactive in the second half of the month of uh, April than uh, where you were in the beginning of the month because I see you healing from some things in the first at least 13 to 15 days of the month of April and as the month progresses I definitely see you taking charge of the situation and moving on from there so if you've been waiting in uh, quiet contemplation about something you say to yourself it's about time that I act Towards the end of the month, or this is your, in your immediate future, this might not be just from the 21st to the 30th of April, but this could extend a little beyond that. Remember, psychic timing and uh, timing of the spirit world, they do not follow the calendar and the watches we have on earth. So this could be in your immediate future from whenever you're watching this reading. There is some kind of movement happening with your plans or something that felt initially stuck is gathering more momentum and you're clearer in your mind where you want to go and with the card of the hierophant you're definitely walking towards your dreams you're climbing the steps to something bigger higher and these are your higher goals you're marching towards and you're thinking very strongly about launching or working on right now that you will launch in the times to come with the card of the wheel, we have the card of the wheel here, which is the wheel of fortune in the right of our deck. What a pretty picture this is on the card. I feel like, Virgos, you are finally discover discovering your worth. Your energy is flying high and you're very, very powerful. You have discovered yourself. I wonder why every time I'm reading for a Virgo, the card does have to come out so prominently and fall down. So here I get the card of Six of Wands when I was asking for a clarifier for the card of the Wheel of Fortune. And I feel like this is you stepping in your element here, Virgos. And you want, and you know that you want to take things the way you have planned them for yourself. And you're going to do that now. You're going to take things in your hand and instead of waiting, this is the doing energy. So you're no longer uh, at the waiting, um, on the waiting bench. You are the doer here, Virgos. And I feel like you're very, very active mentally and physically too. You get the card of Queen of Cups. And like I said, you are stepping into your power. And everything that made you wait earlier, you're saying, I am enough for myself. I do not need so much 
uh, I don't need to wait upon anybody and I'm going to take charge of the situation. Queen of Cups is somebody who's very emotional, very compassionate. At the same time, she rules with love. So you're very in tune with what you want. You're in tune with what your energies are, what your resources are, what your talents are, the skills, the power, even the manpower resources I'm hearing for some of you. And uh, you're operating from your mind. Your third eye chakra is very active right now, Virgos. Give me some more messages for my lovely Virgos for the month of April, please. For the month of April for Virgos. What are the positive messages for Virgos? Show me clearly for the month of April, please. Anything you want them to work on, to focus on. I'd be happy to receive a message from you. Get this and I get this. Wow. So you get the card of ten, nine of cups and the three of pentacles the nine of cups is where you have accomplished something there has been some kind of reward for something you've been working very hard on virgos and i feel like uh, you have been working on something very very hard and it's about time that it shows results to you you also get the card of three of pentacles here i feel like there could be some people approaching you again or these could be some people on your mind. You could be approaching them in, them in some cases. And I feel like you could be coming together or building a team of your own to work on something. It could be like a dream project or something you've been wanting to do for some time now. Let me bring out the hidden messages here. I also feel, Virgos, when you stop paying attention to what was holding you in the back, in the past, sorry, and you begin to move on from there, you will see what bigger things you are meant for with the card of the Hierophant. And um, I also see that you're going to start working towards that because every time you have spent in the past uh, mulling over what it is that did not work out for you, you have been pulling yourself away from the new beginnings that are supposed to happen for you. Look in this... Um, Row itself, there are two major arcana cards, the Fool and the Hierophant energy, supported by the Three of Pentacles. So you need to pay attention to the new, let go of the past. And this new is definitely something you have been thinking about um, building for future. And this is long-term commitment or this is a long-term project you've been wanting to work on. And you've been keeping it under wraps or away from uh, the eye of a lot of people. And I also feel like Virgos, um, give me some more messages. Let me see what I'm not seeing here. That chariot again. Like I said, when I asked the spirit, show me something about the Virgos that I'm not already seeing here or the Virgos not already seeing here. I see the card of chariot again at the bottom of the deck. So this is the hidden energy. You do not realize that there's going to be a lot of speed uh, with momentum in the last part of the month for you. You will be moving on or where you're um, at it, towards the end of the month isn't where I see you beginning at all in the beginning of the month. The beginning of the month may be a little slow phase or maybe a period of lull, but you're not there for a long time. This time is there for self-healing and realization, which you're doing very quickly, Virgos. And that's a good sign that you're healing from there. In fact, you have realized some things in the past so well and uh, it was just a matter of time that um, you wanted to um, consciously choose to move out of the energy of uh, stagnation and you're doing that here in the month of April. And I also feel like this movement is taking you in a very fast-paced way on the chariot into the month of May, probably towards mid-May, where whatever you have been thinking upon, you are bringing into action, into fruition, and uh, that's um, looking a lot better than what you have been thinking, what you've been planning in the past. So I definitely see like a slight change in plans from whatever you wanted to do to where you now want to go. Because now where you want to go is something you're taking charge um, of and you're working towards that. So the people who could be very significant in your life in the month uh, could belong to the signs of water signs like Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I get Cancer twice, the Chariot. There's also the Hierophant, the Taurus energy. There's the Queen of Cups, again, water signs. And there's the Knight of Wands and there's the Fire energy. There's Aquarius too. 
so these people could be very um, strongly around you you could be building a team up with people who belong to these signs also maybe may not be but i'm seeing like with regards to change this month of april is here to change something for you virgos so i would suggest stop thinking about whatever this is you've been hanging on to in the past because what this month of april is bringing for you this is fast uh, rapid change and you have already stepped out of one change with the six of swords energy this is the rites of passage card and this is also the card of movement travel some of you virgos could, could even be traveling or there could be sudden travels or unexpected un, uh, travels too but uh, i definitely see that the energies are going to quickly sweep you off your feet from wherever you were to where it is you need to go just remain open be um be uh, receptive go with the flow and yeah i wouldn't say surrender because the world goes you have now wanted to step into the energy of taking charge and you're just doing that in the month of april so that's what i have for you for now virgos please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon for me and um if you can like the video you get notified with more such videos that can uh, become very helpful for you in the times to come and uh, i would hugely appreciate it if you can join me on instagram and facebook when i go live to offer your questions to answer your questions i'm sorry for free so until we meet again bye bye take care and God bless.